I love using fruit because it is a way to look at fruit in such a different way and, and appreciate all the beauty within the fruit. If you can eat it, why not wear it? Uh, it's the easiest and most simplest way to describe it. Uh, Mother Earth is such a beautiful, it's beautiful in its own, um, and it's just a way of me being able to bring that beauty to the, you know, to a way where we can wear it. Kiwi, for instance, when you when you slice it, it creates, it almost creates like an iris effect, you know, and that it looks like an eye. And like the little seeds and like just the way that the color or the light shines through it, um, it's really beautiful and it, it gives it this coloration even if I don't dye it, um, even when it's dyed, just it's, it's beautiful. Um, one, we get the fruit, it's thinly sliced. Um, thinly sliced because I like all my jewelry to be very lightweight. So as you can see here, like I have, um, you know, plantains. And so since there's multiple plantains, I don't want it to be like heavy around your neck. The process can take from, you know, well, depending on, like, because first you have to dry the fruit, then the assembly of it, if there's a dyeing process to it. So it really depends on the design. Um, but also, so I would say it ranges from like three days to a week. Up to After it's thinly sliced, then if uh, there's a color variation, um, it's eco-friendly dip dye. Uh, and then after the eco-friendly dip dye process, it is then um, sun dried. Once it's sun dried, um, then that's when it is assembled into the design aspect. And then once it's assembled into the design aspect, then it is coated in magic and preserved in love. <laughs> Doing this since 2011. Oh, wow. Um, and then prior to that, the reason why I started doing it was because I would always go to Columbia and like buy jewelry. Like I would go to markets, like flea markets, and like just go. Um, and I want to see like local artists all the time. Um, the moisture of the fruit is something that doesn't, that can be, that, that, that plays a role in its creation. So um, some vegetables might be a little bit more juicier and if that's the case then it can be a little bit more challenging to work with it. My inspiration, I can look at a tree and see a dress. I can look at a tree and see, you know, like a, like a texture or a pattern. Um, so I, I really feel like nature is the most beautiful, like the most beautiful art form that you can see. And see. From bananas to kiwi to strawberries to tomato, tomato, you know, um, all of them are are awesome.